in the spirit. Hello, hello guys. Uh, good evening and we are back for the game number 2 ng ating uh, second series. So, uh, Talon Esports securing the game 1. Pero grabe yung pinakita ng Cirque siya dun. Talaga sumasabay sila up against Talon Esports. Let's see and find out if we're gonna having a same result. Is it gonna be a quick 2-0 for this series? Or aabot na naman tayo ng game number 3? Fourth pick for Talon ang inaantay natin ngayon. It is Dyer's band. Slark. So Slark for the fourth pick ng Talon. Tingnan natin kung uh, gaano ka-effective to. Waiting tayo dito for the uh, final two band. On uh, both sides. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds. It is Radiant Span. Dyer's turn to ban. Ten seconds. Five seconds remains ah. radiance ban. So now, final ban will be Storm Spirit. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Last ban for Talon ni Esports ang inaantay natin ngayon. <laughs> Scarlet Mage will be the last ban. Sirk Shop picking Wyvern for their last pick. Ano to? Support hero, okay? So, why Wyvern? Is there any reason kung ba't sila nag-winter Wyvern dito? Ten seconds. Parang hindi naman ganun kaganda yung Cold Embrace, especially up Five against Lark kasi seconds. makakuha pa rin siya ng Essence Shift. Winter Curse tayo nakikita kong uh, magandang uh, skill for the Wyvern. Mga Cirque siya, um, hindi naman lahat, Pinoy, ang pagkakalam ko. Void Spirit para sa final pick ng Talon Esports. So, uh, again, we'll be getting Void Spirit para sa Talon. Like, they have this much easier draft for Talon. Di ka ma-figure out yung reason ng uh, Winter Wyvern dito for Sergsha. But uh, let's see and find out. Maybe they have a plan for this hero. So, parang same thing pa rin naman yung may kitatin dito. One good thing is they have Doom this time for Sergsha. So, uh, a possible counter over to Slark. Pero para sa lane stage, baka possible siyang uh, malugi sa Slark. Pwede rin namang hindi. Depende na lang yan. Medyo malakas kasi yung ano, eh, support na kasama ng Slark. Eh. Leech. So tignan-tignan na lang natin guys kung uh, paano ba mangyayari for this uh, game too. Ganun din naman ulit eh. Slark, Void Spirit, and then Beastmaster. Then one good thing is nakuha pa yung Techies. Tekis is one of the uh, most picked support hero. Every time na open, talagang kinukuha yung Tekis na yan.
Electric. Halala, ito mas... Prepare for battle. The fire and smoke. I got a god para sa tara ni sports. Consider yourself warned. Tips over to Savage. Bountron about to spawn already. Kakarang batayin ang early engagement. Well, medyo malakas dito yung Surk siya, having and dying on their side. So, hindi uh, naman bipilit ng Taron ni Sports yan. Then, I think, 2 for 2 lang naman tayo dito for the Bounturns to begin with. Yeah, even exchange. First but secured para kay Savage. Ito siya sabi ko. Doom up against Lark. And make it a double kill para sa Slark. That's a good start for the Slark itself. Two permanent agility agad. One minute pa lang. And for his uh, first item, di ba? Boots of Speed. Meron na agad dito yung Slark. Binili na. Hindi ko na yung next na bibili niya pa dito, inaantay niya, baka magic wand or another set of sustain Or baka grab of face, inaantay dito ng start Tombstone has been dropped, but I am dying, TP out lang naman para kay Jobs We'll be able to make it The deny attempt will be successful naman para sa undying mismo Well, bouncing forward para kay Savage, trying to bring down Bombi. Bombi dito, uh, able to juke his way out here. Thanks to three lines, and then a strong Arctic burn. So now on its way na yung... Yeah, boots na lang talaga yung deliver dito ni Savage. Boots tsaka orb ata yun, di ko sure. Going 3 minutes for our game
Estúpido Sa 2-0 pa rin naman yung score Wow, GG Kapag shortcut pa nga So nag-backfire pa nga Kay Mikoto Yung ginawa niya Wala pa siya nakuwang water run Pang refill Sad Oh, there goes the blast of play para kay Q Try to fist chains over to two heroes Kasi mga matay pala naman si JG dito I don't know, I mean kita niya na si uh, Q dun eh Sa may reverse side kanina So di pa rin nag-ingat yung Ember Spirit I mean underestimating Tekis It's one of the main reasons kung bakit sobrang uh, popular ni Tekis ngayon Talagang nakas niya Main stage, early stage, blast off na merong stun agad. Malaking bagay. Ah, Winter Wyvern has been caught. Found in para sa Slark. Wala na magagawa si Pombi dyan. He goes down. Savage. Another kill secured. But same goes with Jabs. Will be taken out dun sa may top lane. Sa bumabawi naman dito yung Slark siya kahit pa paano. The Wats for Savage. Ang ganda din naman ng Slark niya. Especially this time with the Slark. 3-0 na. 3 permanent agility agad para sa Slark natin. Going 6 minutes sa game. Now it's gonna be over to the two heroes with the blast of connecting in. Astle steps in, double Astle steps used on both heroes will be taken out. So lumalamang na yung talon ni Sports. Now they're up 2k lead. Void Spirit goes for the Doom. Doom will be taken out. Blast off. Nagamis pang adi dun ng tech. He's trying to bring down the Winter Wyvern. Winter Wyvern. Well, paputa pa rin naman ng Mikoto. Another hero dead for the side of Circa. And now one dying. The KU's. Mamamatay pa rin naman siya in the hands of the Beastmaster. More heroes dead. 3k na yung kalamangan dito ng Talon Esports. Unlike the game number one, this time. Slowly, nagdominate na yung talon. There is balance in this chain in searing heat. And we know how scary is talon when they're playing ahead. Kung kanina nagawa pa rin ng paraan ng talon manalo, up against sa Serksha, kahit lamang na yung Serksha. What about now? na sobrang ahead naman ng talon ngayon. So, kailangan dito ng magandang uh, recovery ng Cirque siya. And looking at their heroes, parang wala naman silang inasa ng mga big ultimates. Siguro mga possible pickups. And now with the Flammel Roar catching the Ember Spirit with the Aether Remnant. That's off play. Takes him out. Void Spirit will manage to escape. Zombies will be taken care of. And uh, Jaja dito is gonna be in trouble. Wild Axe, that's it. He's dead. Double kill para kay Jabs. Another win for the side of Talon Esports.
So as per sir, siya kailangan nilang uh, mag-step up. Play faster. React faster. Dapat sila dito yung uh, unang ang gumagawa ng play. And hello nga pala sa sobrang uh, yaman kong tropa Lalo na sa Ragnarok, si Darren sa Nigel Pahingi naman pong uh, balato, boss 9 minutes in, looking at the network Sitting on top 3, he's on the side of Tanon Esports And now over to the Void Spirit Kind of being down, Ruby though Golden Blaze available naman But it's all about Savage Getting those essence shifts needed Mamatay pa rin naman yung Doom A Savage dito Shadow Dance still available Blast of connects on the two With the uh, sneaky bomb for the follow-up Aether Remon gonna bring down JG And now Bombi Well, makapag disengage pa rin naman siya And not for Talon in sports But triple kill pa rin naman secured para kay Savage That's two down for Talon in exchange of three Still much bigger pa rin naman for Talon in sports Pero kahit pa paano nakapalag-palag naman In Zerk siya Children secured para kay Rupi daw. Ito yung inaantay ko eh, yung Doom eh. Kailangan niyang uh, mag-participate na eh sa mga teamfights. Hindi pwedeng nagpa-farm lang siya eh. Kailangan niyang tumulong. Dahil uh, nagpa-fall off na yung mga heroes dito of Resurrection. Actually Doom, sobrang baba rin yung network niya compared to the heroes now. Para niya sports like. This is the first time na makakita ko ng Doom na sobrang nalugi. One minute pa lang kasi na first blood, double kill nga eh yung start. Kaya mahirap na talaga agad yung start ng Doom And yung sinasabi ko nga, Winter Wyvern I'm not sure kung uh, ba't sila nag Winter Wyvern dito sa game na to Last week Winter Wyvern So now, Young God Reflection available naman Siguro antayin natin yung Winter Curse ng Wyvern Ito yung isa sa pwedeng uh, maging Recovery ng search siya Yung mga magandang winter curse setup Then madum mo yung slark Yung mga ganong scenario Ayun eh, yung mga ideal For search siya para makarecover sa game na to But can they find that opportunity? Ember farming those ancient, I mean neutral stacks And dito rin naman si Jaja Just reaching some XP Gotta drop the tombstone well, here comes the rest of the hero from the side of Sirksha. Iiwas naman na dito agad yung Ember Spirit. And that's it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Now, Terror Blade is gonna be in trouble. They have the stun. No Thunder available. Winter Curse! Ito na sila sabi ko. Oh, but the techies. Techies will be brought down. Now, JG joining in. He's looking toward to another support hero, which is gonna be Oli. First Winter Curse use. Sobrang successful pa. Sobrang ganda. They do manage to save the third blade and then kills two heroes afterwards. A tool to teach. Now over to Ruby Do, bouncing forward for the Slark. Was that Aghanim Scepter? Okay, hindi naman. Hello, Aghanim Scepter na ulit. So Ruby Do dito, sasabog pa nga sa Proximity Mines. Yeah, I thought he's safe. Pero inaabot pa rin siya dun. Nang explosion. So that's another hero dead for the side of Sirksha. You must learn to live with the now over to the Void Spirit. It's fine. Let's have the Arcane Loon for the Ember Spirit this time. So, medyo kailangan mag-ingat ng Talon Esports dyan. Malaking bagay yung short duration ng Slide of Peace. Kasi pwede yung maging damage ng uh, Zerg siya.
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So a three-month smoke play for Sirksha this time around. They're running towards bottom lane. And actually bottom lane, that's gonna be the void spirit with a blast off from Q. Winter curse available in Monkey Bombi, but he doesn't have the vision for it. Bombi will be taken out by the chain frost. And bottom tower has been destroyed by Savage. And that's a Slark with Echo Saber and Diffusal Blade. Sobrang yaman niya dito. And Wisdom Rune, makukuha pa nga ng Slark. So they're getting in position sa may high ground. Waiting for someone na... Siguro, papapad pa dito for the side of Sirksha. Uy, naulan guys. Finally. Medyo... Lumamig-lamig man lang yung panahon. Going 15 minutes in, Aghanim Scepter available na sa Beastmaster. Winter Curse! Well, over to the Tekis itself. Wala namang magiging follow-up. Mababuhay pa rin naman yung Tekis since solo Winter Curse lang yun. So this time, Sirksha, wala silang pang counterplay. If ever ma mag-dive yung talon ni Sports. Doom still doesn't have his item. Ano ba ito? Nag-Midas pa lang ata siya? Kaka-Midas na lang Doom? 15 minutes? Ganun siya kalugi sa game na ito. 15 minutes Midas for Doom. Seven K advantage for Talon. Now Winter Wyvern has been spotted. Q proximity mines available for bad chain frost will be used. Still not gonna be enough to finish him off. Slark bounce in. Medyo kina post para kay Savage to reach the high ground. Tier 2, bottom tower. Secured by Talon. More map control given. Tapos meron pa silang Beastmaster, so vision advantage na rin to. So 17 minutes in, a 3 month smoke play for the side of Talon Nisports running towards top lane. Medyo maganda naman yung vision dito ng Exerxia. The question is, are they ready to take this fight? Aghanim Scepter available para kay Jabs. Nakakuha na siya ng Ancient Stacks din dito. And dire-direcho lang para sa side ng Talon Nisports. And now, over to Undying. Well, wala naman yung Slurk dun for the permanent agility. As for Savage, ano ba ang hinahanap niyang item dito? Aghanim Scepter available na pala para kay Savage. He need Lincolns dahil uh, counter pa rin naman siya ng Doom. Winter Curse for the setup. Doom used over to Savage. Now this time, I think they have enough damage to bring him down. So that was an early blink. Nirush lang pala yung blink dagger dito ng Winter Wyvern. Tsaka ngayon ko lang nakita na hindi pa na nadidispel yung Winter Curse. And undispellable pala ito. Ito sakto eh. Nag-dark pack pa rin naman si Savage. Kasa wala. Though even though namatay si Savage, Roshan secured pa rin naman para sa side ng Talon Esports. Beastmaster pa naman na may Aghanims. Kaya kaya mag-rush mag-isa niyan. Maulan na gabi guys! Medyo malakas yung ulan. Actually. Hmm? Sana wala naman tayo maging problem sa ating connection. Sana. 
Now Rupi the Dito will be taken out by the side of Talon Esports sa may bottom lane. Sobrang uh, nag-fall off na ng Doom. So tier 3 bottom tower, kinukuha na agad ng Talon Esports, a 19 minute game. And they're going for the tower itself. At mukhang makukuha pa ng Talon Esports. Zerk siya. Nobody's defending at this point. So a set of racks to be secured by Talon Esports. Now, can they keep on going and try to end this right now? Mukhang medyo malabo na dumaretso sa tier 4 towers. Meron pa naman silang tier 2. Sa may middle and top. So ito muna yung magiging objective for Talon Esports for sure. Tormentor makuhuwa pa nga ng Talon Esports. And shard upgrade was given to Lich. I wish I had this back at Dark Reef. 20 minutes in. Still Talon owning this game. Stark, di ko sure kung ano yung binili niya. Atik, bumili siya ng shard upgrade. Kaya wala siyang gold ngayon. Pambili ng Ogre Axe. Sama na tayong Depth Shroud. Just need to be careful kasi yung Doom nga. Yung uh, big counter sa Stark. Though as for Doom, wala pa siyang Blink Dagger dito. He's going for BKB. Straight BKB for his first item choice. So hindi pa ganun kadali mag-initiate para sa Doom. Kailangan nila ng Winter Curse setup from Winter Wyvern. Ayun yung magiging answer nila para mahuli yung Slark. Kasi hindi naman nadidispel yung Winter Curse ng ating uh, Dark Pack. So possible yan. Though, though for Talon Esports, kung sakaling ando sila, to protect Slark, then may hirapan pa rin naman yung Slark siya. Hindi naman narinig yung ulan sa mic ko. Uh, just asking. Kasi baka mamaya rinig. So, mahirapan kayong manood. Baka maingay. Twenty-one minutes in. So Undying Dito will be taken out. A quick one for the side of Talon Esports. Undying dead. Tier 3 top tower yung magiging objective dito for the side of Talon. Wala naman na silang Aegis. So Beastmaster in front. So here goes Mikoto. Will be helping out Slark. Ayaw niya naman lumapit dahil siya magiging target talaga ng Doom. 
And that's double damage coming up from Mikota. Jumps in forward. Gonna bring down the Winter Wyvern first. Doom not gonna be able to connect. So the Hapag disengaged naman agad si Mikota dito. Winter Wyvern out for 20 seconds. And they're going for the set of tracks on top lane. Will be able to secure this. Another set of racks for the side of Talon Esports. Looking good already. One more is needed para na masecure yung Mega Creeps and they're going towards middle lane. Up until now, wala pa rin answering Zerg siya. Talagang nalugi sila dito entirely for the game 2. Lane stage, up until now, hindi pa rin nagkakaroon ng recovery for the side of Zerg siya. And tier 2 middle lane tower dito, makukuha pa nga. Ng Talon Esports, more objective for the side of Talon and going for the final one to get the Megas, a smoke play for the side of Zerg siya. Pero ito talaga yun. Last team fight. If ever na matalo pa yung Zerg siya dito, I think mag gg na sila. Beastmaster in front. Not the ideal target for the Winter Curse or Doom. So Metamorphosis is committed. That's Doom used over to the Beastmaster. Death Shroud will be able to keep him alive. Beastmaster will just disengage and the BKB has been popped by JG. Can't even finish off the Lich in time. And now as for Ruby Doh, will be able I don't think so. Ruby Doh goes down, but finally he's still alive the Lich. But the cost of what? Winter Curse, a beautiful one, hitting on three heroes. And Beastmaster Dita just too tanky right now with the Primal Roar over to the Ember Spirit. Losing three right now for the side of Zerksha. Aether Remnant Duke catches the Winter Wyvern. That's four dead. Third Blade, the only one left alive for the side of Zerksha. Buyback for the Undying. A 2 versus 5 situation. Nag buyback na rin dito in Tekis. And now they'll bounce in. Young God pops the BKP. Sunder swaps the HP onto Slark. Back to full para sa ating Third Blade. Pero Slark dito mag regen out lang naman with his ultimate. And we'll be going back in. They're going for the Megas. Doom is alive. Doesn't have his ultimate anymore. A set of Rax is in trouble. Will be secured by the side of Talon Esports. Mega Crypt is up. Bouncing in forward. Parang Savage goes for the Doom again. Draw shield for the extra sustain and damage needed in the slow. Takes out the Doom right now. Going for the Winter Wyvern. But that's it. Game is over. GG has been called. Savage Dito over to the Fountain. Pops his ultimate. Will be able to take down the Winter Wyvern. And game is over. That's it. 2 0 tayo para sa ating second series. Well, I think okay pa rin naman yung naging game for Zerksha, especially game number one. Nakita naman natin na parang palag-palag sila eh. Kaya nilang manalo ng game number one. Medyo kinapos lang talaga yung Zerksha. Pero game two, it's just complete dominance for Talon Esports. Sobrang ganda ng lane stage na nakuha ng Talon. And as a result, we have 2-0 para sa ating second series. Well, it's not yet over. Meron pa tayong uh, next series mga boss, which is gonna be Boom versus Bleed. Next series yan after the short break. Thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.